What's up guys, BioPrepPD here, and today we're going to be going over a brand new feature in Betaflight 4.0, which is the launch control feature. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up and how to get it working. Uh, there's two things you do need to do. Um, you need to make sure that you have Betaflight 4.0 installed onto your quadcopter, and you also need to make sure that you're using Betaflight Configurator 10.5.1. That is as this recording, that's the newest one. So I did do an initial setup video for Betaflight 4.0, which will apply to this video. So I'm going to leave that down in the video description below to how to set everything up. Um, then once you're done with that, you can come back to this video and then you can follow my guide on how to get the launch control feature working. So let's go ahead and dive into Betaflight 4.0 and the configurator and set everything up. All right, so we are on the Betaflight configurator 10.5.1. That's the newest one as of this recording. So whatever one's the newest one, let's make sure you're using the beta flight configurator, the newer one. And like I said before, I'll leave that down in the video description. So first things first, if you're not sure of what version of beta flight you have running on your quadcopter, maybe you got it used, maybe you um, are not, just don't remember if you flashed 4.0 on it or newer, um, go ahead and connect to your flight controller, go to CLI and type in version. And Right here, I'll tell you the target of your flight controller along with the beta, uh, beta flight version as well, which one you flash. So I'm on 4.0.0, so I am good to go ahead and start using the launch control feature. So once you go ahead and be done with that, you can disconnect because we want to save. And what you want to go ahead and do, go down to modes, scroll all the way down. And right here, we have launch control. And I like to have it set up on a switch. I would not recommend it having it on the time. Um, so what you can go ahead and do, if you want on all the time, you just make this yellow bar go all the way back and forth to the, shows the whole switch position. And if you don't have your switches set up on your, um, Tranus or whatever radio you're using, I do have a guide on how to actually add switches and, you know, pretty much set up your switches on your radio. So I'll leave that down in the video description as well below, but I have mine set to the switch on a switch. So this yellow, yellow dart. Uh, yellow bar here goes over here when I arm it or not when I arm it but when I want to activate the mode so once you click save on that you're done for setting it up um, now there's some additional features that you can change and you have to go to the CLI or do them through your OSD so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the CLI first and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in get launch underscore control hit enter and then we have different modes here. Uh, we have normal, which allows you to control um, pitch and uh, I believe it's the yaw axis. And then we have one that's pitch only, which you can only control the pitch. And then you can do full, which gives it roll, pitch, and yaw control when you're like in the actual control mode. And then we have launch control gain and that's pretty much your eye gain. So if you're starting trying to use launch control and it's not holding its attitude, it keeps wandering around or it's not doing something right, you could increase this. But just be careful of increasing this too high because it could cause eye term wind up and then it could be, um, it could freak out on you. So, and then we also have OSD warning, which um, if you have your warning set up on your OSD, it'll tell you if launch control is on or off, which is awesome. Um, now let's go ahead and go into the OSD and show you guys how to access that in the OSD and you can change the values of that because this I think the CLI won't really won't be much of a value really the much value is doing it through your OSD because you're gonna be at the field messing with this anyway I would not suggest doing this in your house do it outside away from people so if something does go wrong you're not you know injuring anybody else so let's get into the OSD you want to go ahead and go to miss PP scroll down to see launch control right there and pretty much you have all the same settings you do have in CLI now there are a couple additional settings as you see here uh, I believe they are in CLI but I just overlooked them um, it has the angle limit which you can set the angle limit of how steep you want your pitch uh, so it won't go over that limit and then also we have the trigger throttle so that's how much throttle it needs to have before it triggers the launch um, so if you have it higher, you'll get a really more aggressive launch. If you have it lower, like 20, it won't be as an aggressive launch. Now, you do have allow reset where it will let you go ahead and reset the um, 
launch control mode after you um, arm and disarm. Or you can go ahead and have it to where you have to power cycle the actual quadcopter on itself to be able to go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually use the launch control feature. The first thing you need to go ahead and do is make sure that you click on the switch that you set for launch control. And then once you have your switch set and it's on, the on position to activate it, you want to go ahead and arm your quad. And then once you have your quad armed, you can go ahead and very carefully start pitching forward. And when you go ahead and fit pitch forward, um, get it to a good angle where you want it, where it's not going to tip over or you're pretty comfortable with it. And then go ahead and just jam on the throttle to go forward, like you're going to launch, take off, and it'll launch in the air going diagonally or forward, wherever way you want to look at it. And that's how you set it up. So that's how you set up Betaflight 4.0's launch control. If you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I do a lot of FPV related videos, tutorials, uh, reviews, and freestyle and racing videos. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.